na mupitori also <laughs> so the first song we're going to do is his god hope you enjoy when you're down look up to the sky when you're down listen to your inner voice when you're down say a little prayer he Melang San Bonani as Bari and welcome yeah. to Urban Music. Na Kalina Ken Nabusi Mara Baba Kulu Baba Dese Bariki the Queen of Pitori. Big big shout out to Print X Designs, man. Ramoma Milodi. So shout out to them for this incredible space. But let's just jump straight into it. Amohelang. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> like like Uzigne. I want to start really on the performance before we get into the aspect of your life. Sure. You spoke yes. about your grandmother being a songwriter, your mom being a songwriter. I'm guessing it's a very musical family that you grew up in. Yes, yes, definitely. So I asked my grandmother, you know what, what would you say to your mother when you wrote a letter to her? Mm. And then she started writing. Then I took those words and I turned them into a song. Wow. And then now your mom's side being the songwriter, how did that happen? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started the song, but because, wow, Spedias be tipila. And then she jumped in and then she did the things. And yeah, man, we made the parts. You were born Kolimpopo. Yes. Who did you grow up with? What was it like growing up Kolimpopo? Well, I didn't grow up in Limpopo. We moved to Pretoria in 1998. So I moved here when I was like three years old. So I grew up in Pretoria. Okay. <laughs> All right. When you were three, but then two years later, you realized your talent at the age of five. Yes. How do you realize Like what is happening at that point? <laughs> no, they liked making me sing at home. You know, like quick regain. They'd be like, okay, go. You know, get the item. They'd be like, go, go, go. And I'd be shy, but, you know, at the end of the day, everybody just liked what I was doing. So I thought, okay, maybe I, maybe I got this. And at which point did you realize that you can now turn this into an actual career? 2014, mm. when I dropped out. Um, well, I was studying psychology at MGI, and then I dropped out in June. And then that's when I decided, you know what, let me just do this. Mm. Labu ya sa Kodwa kuhloni shwa kapili Izenzo za kozi zo kulande la Ilanga pande kwa makani Labu ya sa Kodwa kuhloni shwa kapili so what happened? Tell us about the story in which 
um, you decided to drop out? Well, it wasn't really a decision, you know. Circumstances forced me to do what I did, you know. Um, finances, you know. Yeah, it was rough. It was rough. Mm. <laughs> and how did something like that affect you as a person, as a musician? Well, I mean, ish, it was like it was really hard at, at the beginning, and then, but then, this is my calling at the end of the day. So you know, I found closure in music, and yes. And I like that because you went on to really take over incredible stages. Yes. You know, tell us about the very first time you actually stood up there and performed professionally for a crowd. Wow, um, <laughs> there was only seven people in a theater, opera theater, that's where I performed mm. the first time. And it was only seven people, Kamahare, I think the stage managers, the <laughs> it was rough, but I was, I, I appreciated the moment, you know, yeah. Then you went on to take on bigger stages, yes. you know, something as big and as incredible as the Standard Bank Joy of Jazz. Take us from the first moment you realize that this is the stage I'm going to perform on and the moment after your performance. Sure, like it was a competition, so, you know, we didn't think we'd make it, you know, and then, I mean, it was a thing. And then they voted for us. I was still in a band called Music Flair, mm -hmm. still is. Um, yes, and then we won, and then I think it clicked when we were about to climb that stage. We were about to perform. And I was like, shoot. <laughs> I'm actually it's real. here. It's real, my nigga. It's real. It's real. <laughs> I'm actually going to be performing at the Standard Bank Joy of Jazz. Like, no, man. It didn't make sense until I had to, like, climb that stage mm. and actually perform on that stage. It didn't matter how small the stage was mm. because, you know, there's, like, no labels to these things. Of course, <laughs> of course. But you got to start somewhere. I mean... <laughs> you know, you have to. And to be associated with such a huge brand, dream come true, I can imagine. Yeah, no. How yeah. was the reception when you were performing? It was great, hey? People loved what we were doing. And yeah, man, they really loved the music. And it was amazing. The experience was amazing. I okay. won't lie. You performed some original songs that uh, you performed on Urban Music Alive and Unplugged. Yes. Tell us more about the music that you've made personally as an artist. Whew. Where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> the beginning. <laughs> I write based on how I feel, you know, at that particular moment, at that particular time. What I feel, I just shut down on paper and yeah. Somehow, I, I don't know, man. Sometimes I dream of these songs. Oh. Wake up and then make sure that, yeah, no. So outside of, you know, the fact that you had to drop out of school due to, you know, financial circumstances, unfortunately, yeah. what was the one time that you felt, oh, wow, I might just give up on this music thing? That, that challenge that really, really made you question what you're doing. Oh, sometimes being on stage is difficult, if I should put it that way, mm. for lack of a better word. It's, it's really difficult, you know. You don't know how people really perceive you. Self-doubt, mm. low self-esteem, you know. You sometimes feel like, am I enough? <laughs> <laughs> like, am I really called to do this? Is this my calling? Go chilling at home and you're listening to what you were doing, you know, videos, mm. watching your videos or listening to audios of what you were doing, performing. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes you're just like, man, I'm not sure. Like, 
uh, was I really called for this? Mm. Uh, yeah, I think maybe low self-esteem, low self-worth. Mm. Yeah, no, they can. They How do you can. get out of that, though? Because, you know, some people can stay there and then it can encapsulate you. You know, it, you, you can really get drowned in feelings like that. So how do you get out of that? You don't really. You just push them back or some sort. Well, some do, but with me, it's really hard. It, it still is, you know. I still struggle with that. Like, sometimes I sit down and be like, like, am I on the right path? Am I doing the right thing? Mm. What if I'm not actually doing the right thing? And it's Katsiang Shi, I'm growing up, mm. you know? What am I doing? Like, like, sometimes I don't, I feel like I keep on in Tweki Yetang. Like, Okari, I want to go to Like, Okari gave me play one. Sure. Yeah, so, and that can be really hard. Mm. Like, that can hit hard. So yeah. But look, if anything, you are you are absolutely incredible. Thank you, you know. So much. I mean, this was the first time on Urban Music Live and Unplugged yeah. where we had like a young audience nyana, you know. <laughs> I saw this lady, she was outside the drinks to high, I don't know. I need a front seat up in here. You know. Come on. <laughs> so what are some of the positive things that you've seen along your journey where you're like, Wow, I, I like that. I'm gonna continue. Um, when people come to you personally, you know, when they text you personally, especially when you're at your lowest mm -hmm. and someone just randomly, like, like a stranger just randomly sent you a text like, yo, bruh, <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be like you. <laughs> Labels. Labels. That's and amazing. And you're just like, okay, maybe I'm on the right path. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely are type of vibes mm. yeah that's what lifts me up that's what encourages me to continue on this journey and also you know my mother just i think she she feels she knows when like okay this child is not okay and mm. she'll be like you know what no matter how hard it is don't let go because once you let go don't let go because once you let go Keep on keeping on. Soldier on. Mm. It's hard, yes. Mm. Sometimes, how totally chaleta. Sometimes you're not even recognized. Sometimes you're not even booked. Mm. Oof. <laughs> I can imagine, especially now during the lockdown, it's been hard for musicians. You it's know? rough. Now that you're here, yes. you've got some music, you yes. know. Can we expect some projects? Nyana or blessing nyana fella biggie. Some Well, I mean finances, guys, finances. Yeah. I think I would have released an EP by now. Mm. But money talks. Mazaka. <laughs> Boy, now if you've got Mazaka and you're watching this, do the things, man. Hey, I mean, make do. the parts. Oh, it's a king. <laughs> sure. But going forward, you know, I mean, yes. what would you like to achieve for yourself? Where do you want to see yourself? Yo, I want to be international. I want to inspire. I want to teach. I want to heal through my music. Yes, that's where I want to see myself. Stages you want to perform at, people you'd like to collaborate with in the country mm. and, of course, internationally as well. Well, in the country, yes. yeah. <laughs> I've always... Well, he's no longer in the country. He's in international now. Mm. But I've always... I've always... <laughs> Sitawile, sitawile, let's go. Kisurumile, silo rekatsuki, risabu. 
Yes, uh, I would like to work with Black Coffee, Zex Bantwini. Mm. Um, yes, those are my main people mm. that I'd like to work with someday, if God wills. I go to Sawar. It is done. <laughs> it is come done. On, it is come done. on. Come you understand? on. And any international people? International. I'd like to work with who? PJ Martin. Okay. I'd like to work with Lila Hathaway. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm aiming high. The sky is the limit. You have to. It's not the limit. It's limitless. Come on. Yes. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> I loved your performance. More than anything, you don't have to try. It just comes so naturally to you, you know? Thank you and so much. Just keep at it. Thank you so much. Please keep at it because what a loss it would be if you were to give up. So please keep at it. There's no doubt about the fact that you will make it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm. I'm a Helang. Hi, man. <laughs> she slayed us on Urban Music Live and Unplugged. But very, very quickly, in one short sentence, please give people advice um, in case they'd like to walk upon the path that you have been walking. Well, I mean, don't be afraid, Uklalindi Mayako, because we are all different. We are all called for our own parts. Mm. No, I didn't put that right, but okay, you get me. Rautara, <laughs> sawara, my girl. Like, keep on keeping on, you know, because we are all unique. We are all different. Do you, be you, stay in your lane. And I swear you will make it. Amazing. You've heard it right here on Urban Music. That is Amohel Lang. She tore it all apart on <laughs> Urban Music Live and Unplugged. If you haven't watched her performance yet, then just search Nyana Mole on our <laughs> Facebook page. And of course, you can do the same on our YouTube page. So, bona. Urban culture, ZA everywhere. Culture with a K because we're cool like that. But for now, we got to love and we have to leave you from Amohel Lang. Wow. And yes. myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been awesome. It's been great. It's been insightful. And we need to get out of here. But na Kalina Ken Nabusi. Baba Kulu Baba Dese. Bariki the Queen of Pitori and we are out here. Yaza go kolula. Womuntum tana chelo go to tando lupeli. Yaksi zangano gumguaz, yaksi zangano gumdu.